What's up, you guys? It's your girl Viv, and welcome back to my channel. My bitch ain't Vivian, no Westwood. Send that shit out, this ain't delivery, no backwoods. Yeah, I'm ready from that hood. Today, as you can tell based on the title of the video, I am going to finally donate my clothes. And um, a few vlogs back, whenever when I like freshly moved back home. I told you guys that I needed to um, donate some of my old clothes since I was cleaning up my closet and stuff. And I'm finally doing it. And it's literally the end of September. And I'm... So, whenever you donate your clothes to any thrift store, for example, like Goodwill or... I forgot the other ones. I don't know why I forgot the other ones. But I know for sure Goodwill is like the biggest one that everyone knows because they actually have their own like donation center like drop off. And I took a picture of what I'm going to be giving them to like donating today. And I'm going to show you guys in a little bit as well. Once you donate clothes to any thrift store, um, you get some kind of money back. Sometimes it's like $300, sometimes it's like $2, sometimes it's $30. So it really just depends because some of them, um, they look for specific things. Like if they need more winter clothes or if they need more summer clothes, they need more sandals, they need more shoes, they need more accessories, then that's kind of where the money comes in. But I actually have a lot because it's basically like my whole childhood closet. So I have a lot of shoes. I have some heels. I have some boots. I have long pants. I have leggings. You know, I have... A good variety of clothes so for this video it's going to be like different days of me dropping off clothes picking up the receipt and stuff like that oh wait 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 okay hold on because y'all don't even know the process so when you go to any thrift store you can donate clothes right obviously because all the clothes from the thrift store are donated so you can get money back um and you will also get like a tax deductible is that what it is that they give you but basically like for example if you go on goodwill on their donation site um donation center site it tell it gives you like this little calculator and you can put in like how many shoes did you donate how many um short sleeves how many pants how many uh sandals how many accessories yada 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 and you put it in there and then at the very bottom it gives you like a estimate number like oh you could potentially get 32 dollars back from your tax or deducted from your tax and honestly i'm just trying to get rid of all these clothes i'm not really trying to do this for extra cash or anything but it would be nice to get a good decent amount of money considering the fact that i'm giving them nike pink polo and some freaking jeans like jeans are expensive like american eagle jeans and i also gave my little sister some clothes too like i gave her some of my zara stuff some of my i gave her mainly pink stuff because i know that's what she wanted but i already cleared out almost everything that i don't want no more or can't fit no more and i've asked people if they wanted them and if they say no then i put it in a section for donation so that's what i did like just thinking about it you know the donation is not gonna give you no freaking 50 dollars for that pink leggings no more they just not gonna give it to you they probably gonna give you like two dollars and that's what gonna hurt me the most growing up my parents was splurge on me for pink outfits and you're giving me two dollars back? Oh no, ma'am. That tax deductible better be going crazy. I don't want my parents paying nothing back this year. You hear me? This video is actually going to be really cool because I've never done anything like this before. So just documenting it is actually going to be kind of fun. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys find it um, interesting. And I hope you guys. I don't know feel motivated to donate your old clothes rather than doing like a garage sale or something so yeah we give back to people because you know there's a lot of people in this world that don't have what you have yeah make sure you like share comment and subscribe comment down below if you think the money that i got back from the donation center do you think that's like 
a good amount with what I donated, if that makes sense. Let me know if you think they played my ass with the money that I got. By the end of this video, I hope I get a good decent amount of money because just me thinking about how much clothes that I'm giving away. <laughs> Let's just see how this goes because if day one goes bad, I don't even know if I want to do a day two. <laughs> if day one goes bad, I'm going to try again. If that goes bad again, I don't even know. But I do, I, okay, I do want to try different donation spots because all places are different. So I think every day that I donate something, I'm going to go to a new place. Please subscribe to my channel. Hello. Job in there, please. Oh. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Okay, never mind. <laughs> my phone back. We needed the paper so we can at least get Thank the. Thank you. Um... Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know, but it was they were supposed to. I don't know. We just have to go to it. Twenty <laughs> years. Okay, y'all, so these are some of the shoes that I'm going to play this closet with. And this is the bag that I'm going there with as well. Oh, 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 earth box. I have these flats in here. Um, I have these. They were cute, but in the inside, they're elevated, so it makes like make you feel like you're walking on your tippy toes all day. That was a no for me. And I got these. These are super old. Like when they first came out, I think. One of the best running shoes. I'll take that much. And then I think I have some more here. Some ugly heels that I never worn. And I have, what is this? Oh, this. I think I got this from Banana Republic, though. I think I did. It's a long box, but so shoes. And I think I'm gonna give them this as well. These are. I think I got this from Forever 21 or something like that in middle school. And they were so cute. Yeah. This is what like everybody was trying to get on to the boot trend. I was one of them. Oh, how did you put this in? But yeah, we're gonna play this closet for all this stuff and we're gonna see what we got what we get. The clothes and the shoes. I'm gonna go to Plato Plato's closet for them this time. And last time when I went to Goodwill, um, they didn't give me no money, which was fine. But I did get my tax deductibles, so that's good. But we didn't know the process, and the guy who was there didn't really explain it to us, so that was kind of weird. But we're gonna go to Plato's closet today. And we're going to see what they take, what they give back, and how much they give. So, yeah. This is day two of me trying to donate my clothes. Thirty for three pair of shoes. So it's nighttime right now. It's like one o'clock in the morning. 
I just got done with homework. I still need to study a little bit before my quiz tomorrow. But I'm going back to Plato's Closet tomorrow after school. And they told me the other day whenever I was donating my shoes, they said that I can't donate any clothes in garbage bags because something with the violation against mesquite or something like that, they in trouble for that. So I was like, y'all finna throw the bag anyways. But um, they said I can't in like a little laundry basket. So I'm gonna fold some clothes, put it in here. Just go back tomorrow. But $15 for three pairs of shoes is crazy. And then they didn't even want the Nike ones or like the good running shoes and like the heels. But yeah, I have all these shirts and stuff on these hangers. Um, I'm going to fold them and put it in here. And then I think my dad put the bag of clothes that we try to donate in the garage. So I need to go get that too. But I'm going to try to see if everything can fit in here. Okay, so there's ooh, 33 items in this, and this is excluding um, the items from the garbage bag in the garage. I still haven't even got that yet, but this all right here are shirts jackets sweaters and they're all victoria's secret they're nike stuff in here there's also fashion over stuff in here and there's two sets of scrubs in here as well there's banana republic sweaters in here american eagle sweaters in here what else is in here it's a lot of pink stuff, Nike, Fashion Nova, everything that I just said, that's all in here. And I have some hoodies in here as well that um, are small businesses. They come from small businesses. So, we will see. 33 items. All day brand, except for some of the small businesses. I better get at least something. Look at all these stuff. My parents are trying to donate as well. They're like baby clothes. And like, I don't know other stuff in here. I don't know what it is. Blankets and stuff like that. But overall, tomorrow's going to be day three. I've been to one Goodwill, Plato's Closet, and I'm going to go to the same Plato's Closet tomorrow. We're going to see what but they give me um for goodwill and they only gave me a tax deductible receipt so my parents get to see how much they'll take off at the end of the year um and then Plato's closet they gave me fifteen dollars and thirty cents for three pairs of shoes the stuff that I took to Plato's closet, like the, the rest of the shoes that they didn't accept, I gave them away. And then I still have one laundry basket to give away. And then I also have one garbage bag in the garage. So the garbage bag is going to be day four. So yeah, but so far it's been a little eh for the donations but at least i'm getting rid of all this stuff and you know just <sighs> cleaning out some space so we're doing good super tired see you guys day three what's up you guys so it is the third day of me donating clothes and I'm at a different Plato's closet only because I'm about to go out to eat with my cousin after this. So I feel like this one may be a good area to donate because a whole bunch of people are donating here. So 
probably a good sign for me. But I donated... Oh, I just donated one little bin. Y'all saw the bin last night. I'm going to fill it up again once I get the basket back. Um, whatever's left over in the basket, I'm going to bring it to a different Plato's closet or the one closest to my house. So, we just going to keep doing that until all the clothes is gone. Or at least I have like just a couple and then I'll just bring the rest to Goodwill. But yeah, I'm going to pick it up in, within... Within an hour or so, or the, when they text me. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys ever go to Plato's Closet, make sure you're free that whole day. Because once you donate the clothes, once you get the text message that you're ready to go pick up your stuff, go pick it up. Because if you don't, by the end of the day, if you're not there, they're going to donate the money back to the shop. So, clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. But... Make sure you're free the whole entire day, um, or at least for a couple hours. Not free, but like make sure that whatever errands you run after after dropping off your donation, that you have the time to come back and pick up your bin and your money. They'll probably just take a few items and probably give you like majority back. It just depends really what they need from the store. But if you don't pick it up, the money will be kept obviously but the rest of the clothes will be donated somewhere else or you can get um store credit you won't get the money the next day so just be mindful of that and when you shop at when you not shop but when you donate at play-doh's closet you can't bring in your clothes in a huge garbage bag that's against the rules um with play-doh's closet i don't know what i i, I just don't know you can only donate um, a maximum of three bins or like a couple boxes or something like that. Usually you'll say it on their door. Let's see how much I make. I made $15 so far. Where is it? Yeah, my little $15. I'll see you guys when I pick up the clothes. We're gonna see how much they get, give me and how much clothes they take because it's a lot of good clothes in there. Okay, let me show y'all. Well, let me just tell y'all. So, they gave me $29.40. So, $29.40 for six items. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but you can either leave the basket in there and then they'll donate it or pick it up. So, I picked it up and I'm going to try another Play-Doh's Closet. That's the whole purpose of this video. So, I'm going to see how hard this whole donation thing takes so i'm excited but 2940 that's not bad hey guys i think this is like day four of me trying to do these clothes so i think it is one two three four no this is day five of me doing these clothes i think i don't know but for day four, I went to the Play-Doh's closet that um, gave me $15 for them three pairs of shoes. But they only took one shirt. Like literally, when I dropped my clothes, I literally dropped them this bucket right here. I dropped them this bucket and literally three minutes later, I had to make a U-turn and get my clothes back and i was like they probably didn't take nothing and i was right they only took one item and um ugh, they said something about they were staining on my clothes or it was stuff that they don't need and let me be honest with you like none of these clothes have stains on them um because if they did i wouldn't even put them in this bucket um so yeah, I don't know what stains she was talking about. She was just probably talking stuff out of her butt. So I went, yes, I went on the 12th. So these are two of my tickets. But yeah, I'm gonna take it to a whole different one. I don't know what kind of stains she was talking about. I don't see no freaking stains on here. But I'm gonna keep them folded still and 
I'm just going to place some more clothes on top. And yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly, this is gonna be the last time I do this. And then the rest will just go to Goodwill because there's not a lot of Play-Doh's closet in my area. Y'all hear my coffee? But there's not a lot of Play-Doh's closet in my area. And the ones that I already been to, seems like they don't need a lot of stuff so far. So I'm just basically going to just fill this basket up. And if I find another basket, I'll just put them all in there instead of just taking this small one. So, yeah. Actually, let's change this basket because I'm not trying to carry two baskets into the shop and then two more back to my house. Oh, okay, so I found me a bucket. Well, I just emptied out whatever was in here. So I'm just gonna place everything in the bag and also in the basket, I'm gonna put them all in here. And then, um, yeah. This is gonna be my last day doing this. Like whatever they don't pay, I'm just gonna go straight to Goodwill and just call it a day. At least I'll get like a tax deductible and also some cash today. But yeah, so far I've got $15 from the first Playlist Closet. I got a tax deductible receipt from day one. And then day three, I got $29 from a few of the shirts and hoodies and sweaters that they got from another Plato's closet. And then I went back on day four to um, the first Plato's closet I went to and they gave me $4. So I'm making money, but not really. Again, I don't really care if I make any money at all with any of this. I just want all these old clothes out of my house. And um, yeah, I just feel like Ugh. I still feel like all the stuff that I had from moving back into my home from my apartment like it's still everywhere but let's fill this bucket up and then we're gonna take it there and we're gonna come back because baby, I don't got all day and plus I got study I'm not like these niggas. I am God Charlemagne. Hey y'all, so I'm at a red light. And the Pettus closet I just went to, I got me. Uh oh. That was Wait, green. It's down and said $2,000. I wish it was $2,000. Hold on, y'all. Let me make this look. This is dangerous. Okay, y'all. So let me put this right here. But I got me. 44 they gave me 44 dollars and 51 cents for nine items i believe one thing that i hate about plato's closet is that they don't give you like the receipt of like how much they're giving you back they only give you a receipt to like they only give you a receipt to sign to confirm that you accepted their offer whenever you trade in your clothes i mean how many people want a receipt back you know I don't know how many people want their receipt, but me, I keep my receipt to make sure they gave me the right amount of money because I'm not going to count it right there in front of their face, um, even though I need to, but just giving me the receipt confirms like how much y'all actually gave me and like just in case if y'all miscounted my money, I can come back and like, you know, get it back. So yeah, that's just one thing that I don't like about Plato's Closet, but the Plato's Closet that I went to is the same one they gave me a good amount of money the last time I came here. So that's a good thing. But mm. you guys, so today is, this is where I'm going to end the video and end the whole donation kind of thing. Um, I just went to another Plato's Closet the other day and I think I recorded some footage for that. I probably did. But I didn't finish recording for that day. But basically, I had got back 40 something dollars. And that was pretty good. Nine items, 40 some dollars. It was all right. But I just went to a different one down in Carrollton. And I didn't drive all the way up here. I came from school. So I went this way. And um, they gave me $5. Yeah, $5.25. Still have a whole bucket of clothes left. 
and I'm just gonna give it to Goodwill um, because I'm basically done trying to to get Plato's closets to try to get my clothes anyways so yeah I'm just gonna give it to Goodwill they're gonna do um, a better job at donating me they're gonna do a better job at donating the clothes anyways so I'm just gonna donate that get my tax deductible and call it a day overall I've made $97 and I sold around a good 15 to 20 items which isn't a lot but that's fine I got rid of majority of my clothes already and just gonna donate the rest I hope you guys found this video super interesting i know i did i never done anything like this before and it was pretty cool if you guys ever donate your clothes anywhere or try to get rid of your clothes don't throw them away give them to um plato's closet first or once upon a child and then go to goodwill go ahead donate your clothes never throw away your clothes there's always somebody who needs them um you can also give them to the homeless shelter they so close to hope you guys found this video super interesting and i'll see you guys next time Mwah.